Heavy ammo available. Guardian down. Guardian down. You're the last guardian. Enemy team eliminated. Welcome Guardians, this is Wincher. Hope you enjoyed that kind of funny opening clip from some Trials uh, gameplay. But here to, to talk about and endorse one of my favorite fusion rifles that you need to buy right now before the Taken King launches and it's no longer available. This is available straight up from the Vanguard vendor. One of the best fusion rifles I've ever played with this in this game called the Give and Take Equation. Trust me, you can buy this gun for what, 150 uh, marks. Vest uh, a couple thousand glimmer, some weapons parts, some moats, uh, quite an investment, but the price of taking out two blade dancers back to back in a row is priceless. Be well worth your money in this game and investment. I've got some good gameplay here of just some just basic good kills and compliments with this gun. I mean, check this thing out. I mean, look at this guy shooting a shotgun. I'm sorry, is your range just not far enough there, bro? How about that range? Let's see that again in slow motion. I mean, look at this. Boom! Three kills. This, I mean, this thing's monster. Uh, I, I find this wholly effective with just about any class uh, or a gun complement. Fusion rifles are that niche that fills that void between, you know, snipers and shotguns. Uh, and so many guys run shotguns, and you can really take advantage of the range advantage you will have with the fusion rifle. and. Right now, it's arguable that our, it's very. The argument is made that fusion rifles are pretty weak in comparison to a lot of these shotguns that people run. Party crasher, fell winners, all that stuff. All that stuff's gonna be a, a, a moot, moot, a mute topic or non-issue come to Taken King when they nerf the shot package and and uh, rangefinder on shotguns. So, I think you can see a lot more fusion rifles in Crucible come the launch of Taken King. And I would encourage you to put this one in the vault uh, to at least take with you into some vanilla crucible because even though the vast majority of our weapons in Taken King aren't going to be really uh, relevant with the level of en enabled uh, gameplay with, with Trials for example or Iron Banner, in your everyday crucible PvP gameplay they still are relevant and it would, be, it would behoove you to have a good weapon complement to take in there. And uh, fusion rifles, I think, again, are going to be seen quite a bit more come the next launch. And even though they're kind of nerfing the range and some of the lower charge rate, longer range fusion rifles, which is like, I think, the plug one, if, if you guys have seen my weapon review of that. Still deem that one my uh, favorite and the, one of the best uh, fusion rifles out there as well. But I'll admit the first thing that that thing does need a nerf because the range on that thing, I've literally outshot snipers It's in some situations. It's still due today, even though they, quote, you know, nerf the range. But... This weapon, uh, th this fusion rifle right now, is a quick, char quick charge rate, quick fire rate, and uh, long range, basically a long range uh, fusion rifle, which goes against the green. Typically, you have to have one or the other. You can't have both, which is a balancing aspect, uh, obviously. So many times with my plug one, the really exceptionally long range fusion rifle, that charge rate is painful sometimes, and you really have to pre-charge kind of think about your enemies, what they're doing, and predict their movements, and then give yourself ample time to charge it. That's really not the case with this weapon. You can pull it out in a pinch and uh, put some damage on it. Now, my first tier perk I have is the Hidden Hand perk, which I don't think is the best perk. I think Hot Swap's probably your best bet, uh, but the more important thing is that you roll Accelerated Coils and Rangefinder. And as I say with any reforging uh, thing, uh, weapon, uh, you know, if you get two out of three perks that are most important, that last one, uh, you know, overlook it because you'll just drive yourself mad and exhaust your, your weapon complements and glimmer, etc. Moats, all that stuff. You, you need to save up some of that for the next launch in the Taken King. Now, this is a weapon I've run here recently, and uh, I was thinking about putting a review out of this because it's surprisingly good, is the... Uh, uh, the conduit and I have it forged with hand laid stock which reduces the magazine complement even more to only 12 rounds which essentially means it has a four round burst before you're out of ammo and you have to land three out of four of those bursts essentially to get a kill but 
as bad as that sounds, it's actually quite effective, and I've made some incredible kills with that. Look at this guy just giving up, sitting down on the middle map. That's what's going on right now with this weapon, completely demoralizing this team. Uh, and it's just like people don't see really, they really don't see fusion rifles coming for some reason, and, and they kind of just discount them and think they can run with a shotgun and slide around all day long. But if you kind of walk backwards as a shotgun guy's charging at you like a, a r enraged bull, you'll be surprised how many times you'll come out on top with uh, with those victories in your favor. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's again, it's a tactic not many people employ right now in uh, Crucible, but it's wholly effective if you understand how to position yourself, how to read the map, understand you know when you need to pull it out, when you don't, you know when you need to have your primary out, when you need to have your secondary out. I mean, it takes time to kind of get reacclimated to fusion rifle gameplay because again, a lot of us are rusty with those tactics and the mentality associated with running that complement. But if you understand it, you get comfortable with it again, you'll be surprised just how effective you are at stimming a lot of uh, combatants at certain ranges. Like right now with this weapon complement, this weapon's incredibly accurate. It's nearly like a hopscotch program in terms of accuracy, but it has even further range than hopscotch. Because oddly enough, there's a glitch, I think, with this weapon, with the, the load I have on it, where it has no damage drop-off whatsoever. So it pulls off 27s even across the map, and what I'm observed. Uh, so I use this for long-range uh, engagements, and then whenever it's short to medium range, or I'm in a pinch. And look at that guy not taking any damage whatsoever. Uh, in those situations, I'll pull out uh, the give-take equation. Uh, and this weapon, it just simply gives, and it <laughs> it gives so much and takes nothing, I'll tell you right now. It's a very reliable fusion rifle. Uh, this, uh, this, the one-shot kill potential of this weapon is very effective. As you saw in one of the earlier clips I showed you, Blade Dancers, uh, two-hit kill, and you'll put them down. Again, you just have to give yourself enough time to consider the range, charge, uh, rate, and all that, because when a Blade Dancer is coming at you, the most difficult aspect of it is when they start initiating the blink uh, aspect in culmination with the uh, the attack itself and it gets very difficult whenever they're spazzing all over the map teleporting or anything like that to actually land two sh shots but the guys that do like that ground strike where they throw the wave of of, uh, of uh, whatever it is at you uh, those are the ones that are very easy to take out because they're 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 basically footed on the ground on the ground those are very easy to take out. I take a, those kind of blade dancers all day long, but whenever they're using the blink strike, it's pretty much don't count on that really uh, working ever. Uh, and that this goes with any weapon. I don't know if really any way to take out a blinking blade dancer because they're next to impossible the way they juke and zigzag all over the you know, air and mid air and stuff like that. I mean, just no weapon is capable of putting that down, in my opinion. It's a very overpowered uh, super, but that's a whole nother argument. Uh, you know, my gameplay here, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying this gameplay. It took some time to edit it, and uh, I just want to take a moment to touch on, you know, the amount of spam out there with uh, a lot of the YouTubers out there. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be critical. A lot of these guys, you know, they make a living on their channel doing this stuff, so, I, you know, I understand that they have to put out daily Destiny content. Uh, but, you know, on my channel, even though the quantity is not that high uh, or frequent, I always want the quality to be high. And, and a lot of my videos, uh, I spend a lot of time, a lot of videos I have recorded, combing through the gameplay myself, finding those moments, uh, you know, uh, editing them, compiling them, because I want every moment of my video to be uh, something tangible, something for you to take out with it uh, and even though a lot of this video is highly edited there's lots of clips that come into this and a lot of work that goes into this so i hope you guys appreciate the level the quality of the videos i put out in comparison to maybe some of the other mainstream uh destiny youtubers out there that just like to spam your inbox with you know a, a two minute clip showing new taking king footage and uh really has no meat on the bones whatsoever but you know generates a lot of views and uh, uh, revenue for them and, and good, that's hats off to them that's that's good for them but again, in terms of what you actually get out of those channels, I hope I hope you find what uh, I offer you guys a lot of times uh, to be informational and something you can take back. Uh, case in point, again, not to toot my own t horn, but Hopscotch Pilgrim. How many videos have you guys seen come out lately about the Hopscotch Pilgrim? And I just want to remind everybody that literally I was the first YouTuber to actually discover that, that weapon, put a video out about it, and it, it was one of my most successful videos, uh, which I appreciate you guys uh, supporting that video. 
Um, but after that video dropped, you know, everybody and their mother want to come out and uh, talk about that weapon. So, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys like this footage. Again, another Blade Dancer down for the count here. Just one more time, look at the stats in this weapon. Give and take equation. I highly recommend you guys go out and get this weapon before uh, it's no longer available for purchase. Reroll it with those two perks, and I guarantee you will do well on the battlefield. This is Windshear. Thanks for watching. I'll have more Destiny content to come, and I appreciate your support.